So, another rainy day. Yeah, I, I, I don't have an intro for this. <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing another choice. So, uh, rainy season, something about going home. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hello everyone, this is I, J5, the Hyperforce. I want to fly super high with style and blush. J5 versus Shuffle, no, no, rematch, or whatever I end up calling the series. Um, yeah, the last episode we made another choice. I don't think the choice was really that beneficial towards no, 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 but whatever. Uh, this episode, we're going to be doing another choice, probably. There is one for this day, that being the 24th. Yeah, it's, 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 this last time game, this time game, sure, let's go. Learning from everyone's mistakes, everybody brought an umbrella after the final class was over. I don't feel I don't feel like shopping by anywhere on a day like this. Yeah, I'd rather just go home and not deal with the rain. I agree with you, Ren. I look at the dark sky and complain. I respect Kylie for going out on a grocery shopping trip on a day like this. Yeah, it would it would be pretty shitty. Kaide is a dedicated woman, I can say that much. I wish this rainy season would just would pass soon. I mean, we knew it were coming, that was like one of the first things the game said to us. Or at least it was one of the like looming things that the game was telling us. And people who actually like the rain are dark troubled people! <laughs> oh, oh, that's gonna that's gonna twist a couple of um, panties, because that's an expression. I know a couple of people who, who like the rain. I'm not one of them, but yeah. However, my comment will not stop the rain. I guess I'll just go home now. Rin, you you clearly don't know the, the magical incantation where you go, okay, I was about to do it, but I don't know it either. <laughs> it's like, something, rain, rain, go away, come back another day, something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, here, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, look around a little longer, we'll probably like, maybe, maybe Shia or Kai, no, Kai is gone, apparently. Is Kai, is Kai gone? <laughs> I don't know. Something so, like you'll you'll meet someone else here. So go home probably allows you to skip skips these. Whoever shows up here and just lets you carry on with your never no progress. So I'm just double checking. Yeah, it's go home. There's nothing good happening here, so I'll just go home. I pick up I pick up my bag and slowly stand up. I say bye to my friends and leave the room. Bye, Rin. Bye, Rin. Guess I'll just go home and do my assignments. We were literally like a couple of, <laughs> a couple of like dialogue pieces away from having a second choice in one episode. Okie dokie. When I visit Kaide's room in the morning, she looks, she looks for something inside of the chest. There's a chest here. It's probably off camera. What are you doing, Kaide? Good morning, Rinkun. Are you not gonna tell us? I'm looking for my old clothes. Oh, I remember this. Kinda. I remember. I remember why she's a uh, why she's looking for her old clothes. But whatever that leads to is um up to the game's decision. Your old clothes? Are you going to give a? Are you going to? Are you going to have a flea market or something? Okay, I was reading that as like, are you going to take them to the flea market? But I couldn't see those specific words, so I was wondering if the game was wrong. I was wrong. Are you going to have a flea market or something? I guess. I guess technically that would be like a yard sale, but whatever. It's not that. I just thought they may be the right size for her. The right size for whom now? Oh, you know, the third person in your house, right? Hmm, she looks pretty good in it. Wait a minute. God damn, God damn, I want the game to show Primula so that I can ad-lib it and be like, Did you forget about me, fucker? Wait, I have the sprites, I could've just done it anyways. You think so too? How do you feel, Primula? It's not too bad. I think it's not too bad. Yet again, I have no emotion, so I don't really give a fucking shit what you dress me in. Also, hi, I'm here again. <laughs> if she's replying and not rejecting, that means she really likes it. Or at least is okay with it. Brain. <laughs> I'm glad she likes- I'm glad she likes it. They're my old clothes, but they're the perfect size for her. That's cool. We don't need to buy new clothes for her, at least. Primula is lifting her arms up and down and checking out her checking out her white blouse without listening to our conversation. Hmm. I guess it looks good on me. I wonder if it'll look good blown off when I finally explode one day and I'm just reduced to atoms. Hmm. I wonder. You're not listening to me, right? <laughs> That's my only joke for Primula, the fact that she's gonna blow up one day. 
Yeah, I, d I didn't forget. <laughs> I thought I skipped a line again, but no, I didn't. Wait, were you really once Primula's size? I mean, weren't we all? <laughs> I was always a small girl. And I've always been a small boy. Wait. <laughs> I've always been a small girl too. <sighs> I hate my VTuber model. And I'm the one who fucking made it. <laughs> Ugh, the mouth, the mouth is being weird, and I, I don't like it. I think it's a lighting issue because my room is not like the best well lit, and uh, whatever. Next line. I can't believe her. We, we, John, we, John. Can you fucking not? Can you fucking not? I can't believe how small your breasts used to be. What the fuck do you mean by that? Kaido's face turns red as soon as I give a compliment. You know that was really fucking rude of you to say, right, Primo? <laughs> I'm grown now. I'm bigger. Just just because no one is here are bigger than me. She hides her chest with her arms while blushing. My bad. Yeah, you're bad, Rin. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. I mean, what else were you trying to do? But I was just reminiscing when we were kids and our parents died. Yeah, yes Sure, we'll go with that, Rin. I don't want to be upset with you, so I'm just going to go with that. Yeah, sure. Yeah! <laughs> she just cries in the corner. She stops talking. I know I'm the one who created this situation. Yeah, you are, Rin! But I feel uneasy. Anyways, Primula is not familiar with this city yet. I'm going to take her out for a while. I just hope you don't run into Itsuki, because if you do, oh, again, I will shut the game down. <laughs> Cancelling the Let's Play. Yes, that's a good idea. Please be careful. We're just taking a walk around here. Nothing to do, nothing to be careful about. So we're gonna have a bit of time with Primula. Oh, I don't have a good feeling about. I genuinely do not have a good feeling about this. Unless like Nerina joins us, then I guess it could be okay. Cause there's like more people. <laughs> I don't know, this, I've said this I've said this a couple of times before in the, in the Let's Play, but the way that this game treats Primula is... It's not... It's not good. It's uncomfy. I smile warily and leave the room while holding Pri Did you have to do that, Rin? <laughs> Are we going out? Yeah, I have no choice. You have to hang out with me for a while. I guess we are trying to introduce you to the world like uh, King of the Devils would want, so whatever. I don't mind. I like to breathe outside. I've been trapped in a dark, dark cellar for all my life. The outside world is beautiful. Please let me outside. I want to be outside. Let me outside. Please. I want to be outside. <laughs> Just starts breaking down. <laughs> Poor Primula. I see. She tells me she tells me what she likes, with no expression on her face. I smile with a comforted face and open the front door. So we are just having like a moment with Primula. Okay, game. I, I will I will tolerate this if you don't be weird about it. So so are you getting used to the world now? The street is crowded with people on with people on the weekends. We walk slowly as we as we thread along the people. Yeah, it is Fred. I was wondering why it was Fred, but I guess, I guess it I guess it works for the way that you sort of weaving out of people. Primula in a new white blouse stands out even in the crowd of people. Um, okay game. Pe people are staring at her picture perfect appearance as they walk by us. It's the same. I, I guess you- oh, that's a response to the question earlier, like, How are you getting used to this world? It's the same. Okay. <laughs> she continues to walk without minding the other people around her. As- Game? Why the fuck do you say that about Primula? It's as if I'm walking with my little sister, and that's all she is, because I'm marrying Nirida, <laughs> and she's adopted. Oh god, this game's fucked. How is it compared to the world of the devils? I don't know. I never got to see the world of the devils because I was trapped in a deep, dark, underground basement or whatever the hell I called it earlier. What did I call it earlier? I forgot already. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I see. She's not giving me any chance. Well, she it's almost like she doesn't know how to talk to people, Rin. That's kind of a that's kind of a thing. I wish I could talk to her more naturally. Are you interested in anything from this world of humans? Cats. I'm gonna predict it's cats. I do have an interest. Oh really? 
cats. I'm surprised to hear her answer. She could have answered this earlier. Is there any? Is there anything? Is there anywhere you want to go? Just let me know, and I can take it. I right. I'll take you there if I can. But only if it. But only if it's around here. I thought that was Primula for a second. I can't take her that far on my own. The place. What? Where? Where I met you for the first time. I was staring at cats. Give me cats. <laughs> the place where we met. She nods without changing her expression. I found, I found her uh, for the first time at... Oh, that arcade. You was looking inside the catcher machine with a serious face. Sure, that's right ahead from here. Let's go. Transitional dots. More transitional dots. More transitional dots. I'm sure it was here. She looks around and starts running towards the arcade in front of us. She looks inside of the catcher machine in front of the in front of the place. This is not it. Where the fuck are the cats? She looks inside the machine from behind her and as she speaks. <laughs> I can't be bothered to try and read that better. There are stuffed dolls of popular game characters inside the machine. Oh my god, there's a pirate! Primula! We need to get a pirate! Sure, if it makes you happy. I think the game is about a boy who longs for who longs for the Cherry Blossom Hill and five girls who surround him. Is that a reference to a game? I mean, it would be kind of funny if that was a reference to a different novel game, but it wasn't Shuffle and Novel's first project? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it, actually. I'll see what their first project... I'll see, like, Novel's game history and see what this, this might be a reference to. Damn it, damn it, damn it. If I can't find anything, I can't find anything, but whatever. I'm pretty sure this is going to be like a reference to a popular visual novel or something, I don't know. Or their previous work. When they're out of prizes, they refill it with a diff- well, they refill it with different ones. Yeah. Fine then. Guess I will not have my cats. I will proceed to explode. Wait, what? <laughs> she walks away from the machine. Interest lost. Oh, so you were interested in the prizes you saw before, rather than the game itself? They're not there anymore, so let's just forget it. If you want a cat plush, I can buy you a cat plush. I want the cats. Give me the cats. She was that interested, huh? I was inside the machine when I first saw her. I guess this is me, like, knowing the game in advance, so I know that she has a thing for cats, but... Yeah, I don't know, she was staring at cats, so... Minor spoilers, I guess, even though in certain outfits for her she's holding a cat plush. Well, what can you do? Is there anywhere else you want to go? No, there is no need to go anywhere. I just wanted the cats. Win. Do you not understand the objective of why I'm outside here? Not only to breathe the fresh air, which I do enjoy, I will admit, but I also wanted the cats. <laughs> so I might. Okay, so that's the only two jokes I have for Primula. Suicide bombing, apparently. Or cats. Don't reject me so easily. I tried to think for a while. Uh, trying to take care of Nerone's little sister is hard. I'm doing this for Nerone. Remember this, I'm doing this for Nerone. Then let us take a tour around here. Maybe we'll find a another place where there's cat plushes. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I wound up with the most normal solution. Let's just walk. Kaido told me to be careful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. I think I remember something that this game does in a specific scene. And I'm going to fucking hate it. You should take a bath as soon as you get home. I don't want you to catch a cold. Yeah, warm yourself up because, I, I don't know, maybe if you have a cold, one sneeze and the entire city's nuked. Okay, thank god, it's, it was over quickly. If you want to know what that scene is, you fucking weirdo, uh, get the game yourself. <laughs> right, <laughs> the doorbell rings as I, get re as I get ready for school. Who could it be at this time? I'll go get it, I'll go get it. If it's a salesperson, don't hesitate to reject them, okay? 
Why? Because I buy everything that they sell us? Yes, Kaede, because you buy everything that they sell you because you can't be rude. Well, Pimula walks to Kaede as she stops washing the dishes and heads towards the door. Talks to Kaede as she- as Kaede stops washing the dishes and heading for the door. Don't worry, it's for me. What? For you? Pumula walks out of the living room. Out of the living. <laughs> yes, Primula died. No, 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 no. Primula walks out of the living room. Soon after, someone unique enters the room. Hi, guys, it's me again. I hope you didn't have a really awkward scene with her yesterday. Oh, I was right. It was King of the Devils. I mean, yeah, it's kind of... King of the Devils is like Pr Primula's adopted father, so of course it's going to be him. It's not like... It's not like 5D chess... Like, talking, thinking, <laughs> talking, thinking, oh my god. Oh, this game's made me uncomfortable and I can't speak. Well, hello, Rin-chan, Kaede-chan. Are you working hard in this morning? Uh, I'm sorry for coming inside without your permission. Did I interrupt you? Yes, but it's fine. I'd rather deal with you than this game and Premier. What are we supposed to be working hard on? I know it's very sudden, but I'm going to keep Premier for about a week. Thank you, please! Oh, poor Primula. Just, just, please take her out of this game and just put her in a nice, innocent corner with a bunch of plushes and just let her enjoy life without this game being weird to her. <laughs> Primula is actually baby, even though she's older than me, but still. You are? Did something happen? It's not a big deal. We're just we're just going to see if anything's changed about her since the ten days since she came to this world. Oh yeah. Okay. So in the pr I think it was previous episode. I ranted about um I ranted about how it's weird how the king of the devils just doesn't keep Primula for himself. But I've just remembered why Primula lives with us. Lives with us. It's because then she can interact with people and like grow as a person. Okay. Maybe the game has a reason for Primula to live with us. <laughs> This game makes me so uncomfortable that I forget everything. No matter what, no matter what we think, she'll still always be a homunculus that holds tremendous magical powers. We need to search for what changed, for what changed her, brought out this world. We, we need to research what change she brought to this world, and how the world is changing her. So, but so far, I don't see any obvious changes, so there's no need to worry. No need to be worried. Well, she does keep ranting on about cats. Yes, where are my cats? Give me the cats. She doesn't know about this? Of course I told her. This is just like a ritual, so she can stay in this world longer. I also did like two burps in the middle of that sentence. Jesus Christ. I'm aware that she was created for a, for a sample for the experiment. That's why that's why they alerted. That's why they are alert of changes caused by the environmental difference. I know I fumbled that line like badly, but what? What? I know. Yeah, I know she was created as an experiment, as an example for experiment. That's why they they are alert of changes caused by the environment differences. So they've got to be like aware of how Primula's like changing. I guess. I guess her routine checkup is a little is like a requirement for her to stay in this world of the humans. How long will it? How long will that research take? It depends, but probably about like four or five days. It's gonna be fine. Five days? We're we're just getting used to the life with Primula, so we feel sad. At that moment, Primula comes back to the room. She is holding a black bag in her hand. She has been to her room and packed her stuff in there. Are you ready to go, Prim We must go now, Primula. I will see you again. Bye, Rin. Bye, Kaide. I hope I see more cats. Okay, we'll be waiting for you. Be careful. Primula leaves without changing her face, as if she's just going out on a small walk. Hopefully it doesn't rain! <laughs> that was so sudden, I don't- I don't feel like she's really gone. She's not dead, Kaide! She- she appears suddenly, and she disappears suddenly. I need more time to be to be prepared. She's literally next door, what do you mean?! <laughs> 
She suddenly came in and then she exploded. She's fucking dead, sure. That's like the attitude that they have. It's like, what? The bell echoed in the building and all the, mor all the morning classes have ended. The students flo flood out of the classroom. Some of them leave the classroom before the teachers. Before the teacher, the what, Miss B. But they'll definitely get a penalty if it's Miss B's class. No, you're not meant to leave before me. You've all got extra lessons, dicks. Since we brought our lunch from home, we will stay in the room and start moving the desk to make a big circle. Oh yeah, because like, you'll have to be excused by the teacher beforehand. The bell rings and you have to wait for the teacher to be like, all oh, right, yeah, it's good, go. I forgot that was a thing. I haven't been to school, like actual school, for like a good nearly decade, right? I have been to college and university, but they act, but they function completely differently from school. And yeah, it took me a while to remember that, yeah, you have to be excused by the teacher. I don't know if that was a thing for my school. I think it was, but yeah, it's just a common school thing. Hi! <laughs> All right, finally, we got a dateable girl back on screen. <laughs> we can't eat outside today either. No one speaks as she as she looks outside. It's been raining since this morning, and everything looks grey outside the window. This is the rainy season of Japan. It's like a tradition to eat inside the classrooms during this season. I like the rain! Oh, so, what, what did Rin say earlier about, like, people who like the rain are fucking weird? Well, okay, okay Shia. I like the rain! You don't, don't you just want to jump in a pot? What? Don't you just want to jump into a pond when you see what? What? <laughs> is that mistranslated or is it just Shia just like, I want to go for a swim? <laughs> I like stepping, I like stepping on frozen ponds in the winter, but that's not this season. I think it's meant to say puddles. I think it's meant to be puddles, but the game translated it wrong. Whoever manga gamer, like, did the English patch for this, and I think, like, how do you read those two lines and think, oh yeah, pond, sure. Was this, like, machine translated, like, flyable trans, and they just didn't catch it? Because I'm pretty sure it's meant to be, oh my god, I see those po- Pond? I see those puddles, I'm gonna jump into them! It's like, yeah, I like cracking the frozen pond in the winter. I mean, to be fair, I did that too. <laughs> But it's not that season. We're nearly summer, not winter. It's like the opposite end of the year. I start feeling excited when I hear the raindrops. Which is weird because it seems like I'm the only one who likes it. There are some humans who like the rain too. And I called them fucking weird for it. <laughs> that, was, that was wind, not me. It's, oh, it's awkward because Rin doesn't have any sprites, so I'm just gonna have to like put up his key art whenever I'm speaking as him. I can't do like funny expressions like I can with the other girls, with the other characters and their sprites. I like the rain too. I think, I think the wet scenery can look really sentimental sometimes. Okay. I didn't know she's one of those people who like rain. Haven't you been living with her for like eight years? How do you not know at this point? I like, I like the child, the child of rain, what? I like the child of the rain. I can't tell my life story without the rain. Oh, I'm like the child of rain. Oh, I get it. He's like the emissary of rain. Oh. Why is that? Because you're a soppy little bastard? <laughs> No rain allows me to be very close to the ladies under our one umbrella. Oh yeah, that shit again. Ha! Huh, See, so going on about that again. Uh, do I need to put you back in the dumpster, you fucking trash? <laughs> fucking trash heap. That's not very good news for the ladies. You don't. You don't seem to not like. You seem to not like the rain, there and there. You've been looking outside with a sad face. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't really like these dark skies. Yeah, I guess they are a little uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit... Uh, the, the rain makes me uncomfortable than dark skies. You like sunny days, huh? Well, yeah. Who doesn't? Well, when it's too hot, it's not good. Yes. Well, I feel very... I feel very special. No, no, do you know who you're talking to? I feel very special when I eat my lunch under the bright sunlight. I feel a little sad when it's raining, because I can't do what I just said. I prefer sunny days too. The blue sky is my favourite. Plus I can take nice pictures. 
Oh yeah, she's like a photographer, isn't she? Because she likes getting news scoops and shit, even though she's not a part of the uh, newspaper club. Yeah, something like that. Just <laughs> more than me or me. So I guess we, so I guess both rainy and sunny days are necessary, so that we can both enjoy them. Yay, friendship! <laughs> I can see Shia just doing the yay friendship thing. I'd be bored if every day was sunny, but we'd be tired if every if every day was all rainy. If it was rained all the time, yeah, sure, I can just read my fucking lines. She does have a point though. The special days aren't special if all the days are like that. You know, it's like it's like what Syndrome said that one time in that one Pixar movie called The Incredibles. It's like if everyone's special, then if everyone's super, then no one is. And when everyone's super, <laughs> no one will be. You're, you're right. I like rainy days, but my grocery shopping's already tough. Getting soaked in the rain is something I don't want. Wow, your comments are so, your comments are so domesticated. To me, you could you're making Kaide work as a dude. <coughs> Sorry, that, my demons came out. Oh my god, it's 38 minutes on the clock. I got too carried away with the conversation. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna want to end it off because it's like 30, uh, 23. I did look at the clock and it was like 30 minutes, so I thought, yeah, I'll do like maybe one more minute of dialogue, but then I just got into it. <laughs> I just started playing it again. So, next time on J5 vs. Shuffle, Nowadays rematch, yeah. Uh, but sorry, hopefully we don't get any more weird Primula scenes. Yeah, next time hopefully we get more Nerone stuff and yeah, just enjoy the game more because this episode was weird. <laughs> I usually don't skip scenes because I have reactions, but nah, we're not dealing with that. We are not dealing with that shit. So, yeah, that, that's it. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell so then you can tell me if you are enjoying the series, something, something, feedback, and, you know, help the video perform out there in the YouTube algorithm and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, comment down below if you want me to keep playing Shuffle once I'm finished with it, or, you know, like maybe play one of the other visual novels that I've played, or maybe play a new one. Uh, yeah, I'll accommodate for whatever you guys may want. Well, I'll try. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll do what anybody says. So... Uh, what's the outro again? <laughs> and with all that said and done, this is Bit J5, The Hyperforce. I will see you whenever next. Goodbye!